The eWay bill system provides a provision of offline method to generate the multiple eWay bills in one go by the taxpayers or transporters. The offline tool can be downloaded by the user from Help Tools Bulk Generation Tools option provided in the eWay bill system, then Please make sure you are using 2010 or higher version of MS Office. Read all the instructions, specification and validations in the welcome sheet of the tool. This will guide you how to proceed further. You can refer the master codes and validation sheets to cross verify that the data entered is valid. Also, you can refer the sample eVable sheet for sample invoices entered. The user has to select the type of category he belongs to whether taxpayer or transporter by selecting the radio button on the top of the eVable sheet. Enter login details like GST IN or transporter ID, legal name, address, place, state and PIN code in the text boxes available in the same sheet. User has to now enter the transaction's details by selecting the supply type as outward or inward. If taxpayer is generating the eWay bill, then all the from and to transaction's details will be auto-filled based on inward or outward supply type selected. Select the relevant subtype applicable to you from the drop-down list based on outward or inward supply type selected. The user has to select the document type from the drop-down list provided based on subsupply type. Please refer the table to in the validation sheet for the details of supply type and document type accordingly mapped to it. If supply type is outward then. If subsupply type is supply and document type is tax invoice then from GSTIN should be self or login GSTIN and to GSTIN can either be URP or other party GSTIN. Similarly, for inward supply type. If subsupply type is supply and document type is tax invoice. Then from GSTIN can either be URP or other party GSTIN and to GSTIN should be self or login GSTIN. Refer the table for the subsequent subtypes. Enter the document number and document date. Select the relevant transaction type from the drop down available. Now, the user has to enter the address details like from address 1, from address 2 from place, dispatch PIN code, bill from state, and dispatch from state from which the transaction will be done. Enter other party details such as to other party name, to GSTIN, to address 1, to address 2, to place, ship to PIN code, bill to state and ship to state, to where exactly the consignment will be delivered. User has to enter the consignment details such as product name, product description, HSN code, unit, quantity, assessable value and tax rates. The tax rates will be validated based on bill from state and bill to state selected. Only standard tax rates will be taken into consideration. Please refer the table 1 in the validation sheet for standard tax rates. For intrastate, CGST and SGST will be applicable and for interstate, IGST will be applicable. CES and CES non advol is common for both. Now, user has to enter the taxable amount such as CGST amount, SGST amount, IGST amount, CES amount and CES non advol amount. Total invoice value indicates the sum of assessable value plus tax value. The user has an option to enter the other charges. Please note that, if a single invoice having multiple items then the total invoice value and other charges should be same for all the items having same invoice number. Part B details includes, transportation mode, distance, transporter name, Transporter ID, Trans document number, Trans document date, Vehicle number and vehicle type. If mode of transport is road, 
then select vehicle type as either regular or over-dimensional cargo. If mode of transport is rail or air or ship, then vehicle type should be regular. On entering all the details, user has to now validate the data entered by clicking on validate button. If the entered data is not correct then eVivil offline tool system will throw an error message which is shown in the last column of the same sheet. On validating the data successfully, the user has to prepare JSON file by clicking on prepare JSON button. Once JSON file has been created, user has to log in to the eVivil system with his credentials and select the generate bulk option in the eVivil menu. Now click on choose file button, the system will request you to select the JSON file created. Upload the file and click on generate button, the system generates the eVibill for error free requests and shows the eVibill number in the grid for them. The user can also export the results in an Excel file by clicking on export to Excel and use them. In case of error related requests, Correct the error and generate the file again and process accordingly.